Hey everybody, welcome to Fire in the Hole. Got uh, several uh, reviews going on tonight. As you can see, we've got the, the whole rack going here. Heiko and I fresh off the Empath Tour with Devin Townsend. I don't know if you can see my uh, sloth is hanging off the Canada arm. That's my pretty cool. Cat. Sorry, yeah. kitty cat. <laughs> and then uh, cat? the kitty cat was actually also on the, uh, the uh, after show passes that we got, which uh, we had a lot of fun hanging. It was a pretty incredible time. And uh, so uh, Heiko was uh, off at uh, London Heatwave uh, on the weekend, brought back a bunch of cool stuff. So we're having a, a taste of everything. Max, you got to stop hitting the screen over there. You're putting it back on uh, Dave and I doing hot wings instead of the smoke box from Tool. <laughs> All right, so the next one up is Bayan Tiger. Now I've heard so many good things about this sauce. Just about everybody I know has reviewed it and tasted it, says it's incredible. And uh, I've been waiting a long time to try this one. And uh, so we're going to give it a go. So Heiko's going to read off the ingredients, which is too small for anyone to read. That's why I got it on my phone right yeah, now. Uh, for anyone doing. except for Max, but he's still well, young. Yeah, so. he's got young eyes. So Jeff Davis was there as well with uh, Island Sun Canada. They make the hot sauce. Great guy, great product. Ingredients, vinegar, onion, mango, scotch bonnet, peppers, turmeric, uh, corn syrup, lime juice, mustard, naga peppers, and garlic. Ooh, nuggets. And I am a huge fan of this hot sauce. Mm. I have had a jar before, and um, I'm lucky enough that uh, I know Jeff quite well, so I'm looking forward to a bigger jar in May when we're doing the, heat, the heating up the capital here in Ottawa. Nice. And it's a Caribbean-style sauce, so primarily uh, Scotch Bonnet as the, the, yep. the primary pepper uh, source. So uh, let's uh, crack into it. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm almost literally almost you, drooling. You, you're huh? gonna have to smell that first. Yeah. I shook it beforehand, by the way. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, it smells pickly. Is it a fermented sauce or no? It's not. no. To me, it smells so pickly, like uh, uh, mustard pickles. Yeah. Have you ever have those? those yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickles packed in mustard. That's what I smell right away. Oh. Oh. It smells like the, the pickling Ketchup. spice. Mustard. You get the pickle lily in uh, Europe as well that they use. It's an English thing, which are pickled vegetables with a lot of mustard seed in it as well. It's Horse very radish. similar. Mm. But this has got Horse a much radish. more wow. distinct scent to it, Smoke and the flavor is very similar to what you smell, actually. So. I'm wow. not going to taste that sauce. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. More for us? Like a, a bread and butter pickles, like not not a like, not like a kosher dill, but more like a bread and butter kind of mm -hmm. a s sweet and sour. Uh. Oh man, that smells so good. Okay, so am I gonna try and just pour it? You should be able to do that. I'll try and get this right that I don't pour it on my beer or something. All right, there's a good dollop. I have to clean off the edge when we. No, I'll do that. I'll do the yeah, yeah. other ones. Don't worry. Yep. Yeah. I sacrificed wow. my thumb. Excellent color. Beautiful orange yellow color with the red flecks inside. Mm. Very similar on the spoon to, yeah. to from the from it the jar. It is so good. This is a very consistent sauce in my opinion for that scent flavor everywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Mm. Oh wow! There is so much going on in there. From the you smell, can taste I, the turmeric as well. Mm -hmm. From the smell, I thought it was going to be a real one-trick pony, but there's mm -hmm. a million things going on. So I've been making shawarma at home, Dutch-style shawarma. Long story behind that. I mix that in with some creamy garlic sauce. It is the best thing that you can do. Mm. There's so many other different uses you have for this as well. Um, Indonesian food. I like to cook a lot of different uh, style of foods, different uh, ethnicities. So. Indonesian, Suriname, based on my whole background, this goes well with everything. Oh, it's you can mix it in as an ingredient, you can use it straight up, there's a lot of different uses for it. The, the heat is very, uh, I won't say over the top, but at the same time I can feel my, my cheeks sweating a little bit, it's, it zapped me a little, but uh, very, very even heat, like a, a really yep. sort of a consistent heat. I think the Scotch Bonnet's a that, like that's a pepper you can rely on. I think that's that's the kind of thing where it's always going to be uh, where where you need it to be. That's delicious. And then it has naga uh, mm -hmm. as a as an afterthought, yep. which probably ramps up the heat a, a, a little more. So the Scotch Bonnet is one of my favorite peppers, and this is probably why it's one of my favorite sauces. Um, they're very hard to grow here in Canada. I don't grow them myself, uh, but this is just for me. This is bang on. This sauce is great. 
I, I have a, a seedling that germinated. I have one Scotch bonnet behind us in the in the gar in the grow. So uh, I'm I'm hoping to, I hope they're really cute. That's what I want. I want them to be the traditional Scotch bonnet that actually looks like a little Scotsman's hat. That's what I, I want them to look like. But uh, who knows which which pheno I'm, I'm going to end up with. As long as they grow and they're and they produce, I'll be happy. But that's a delicious, delicious sauce. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Doesn't disappoint, does mm -hmm. it? No. <laughs> it's like I, I want to go back and have another spoonful just to, to double up, but that's not not for tonight. Right. By the way, Gazoo will love this. Mm hmm Yep. And and the heat won't hurt her, but it will delight her. I think. I think it's just right yeah. for her. And uh, what do, what do you see it pairing with? What did, did you say? What you saw it go go with? Um, like I said, I use it in a lot of different capacities. Oh, it's an I've ingredient actually sauce. In, okay. Yeah, I, ingredient yeah. sauce. You can use it straight up as a hot sauce as well. I mean, I use it on Indonesian food, so rice dishes. Um, it, it would even make incredible wings. Like just to toss yeah. a bunch of wings in a bowl yeah. with that would be just phenomenal. It would hit people sideways. They wouldn't even know what they were experiencing. Yeah. It's not your average hot sauce by any stretch of the imagination. I like those weird ones. Those are my favorites, the ones oh, that, that are just very different. Hasta la vista. All right, so that's uh, what do we got. Four down, one to go. Exactly. Oh, and some popcorn. We're going we're gonna to get into this uh, ghost pepper popcorn mm -hmm. here pretty soon, too. So uh, I'm dying to try that. I kind of got myself hooked on spicy popcorn in the last little while with my own powders. So cheers. Mm. 